ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Tell your friends, Mitchell Farley, Brian Chambers, what is going on? What a week. What a day. Victor, what is going on? 903. Hey, I just got in the door. Um, Grossman, good to see you. Hey, we're going to do, I just really am sitting down just now. Let's get some folks in here and we will start jumping in right away. Hanger rats. Oh yeah, we are filling up. Look at this. Red Wolf, RC and G, Paige Farley, Victor, Shamulus, no hurry. Cool. Um, wow. Okay. What a day. Seriously, just getting in the door. No, no, no giveaways over here tonight, my friend. I'm sorry. Mary Boozer, good to see you, man. Can't wait to see what you did at Null. Um, I saw the beginning of your, uh, your, your the balsa plane fly thing. Hey, Boozer, Jack Miller, Futura. I got some stuff to talk about. Me and Mike, ju- I mean, I just got back from actually a good session. I cannot wait. Um, lots to talk about this week. Jeff loves the balsa plane. Man, you guys are going to – the chat just goes off. It's so – yeah, it was just a couple of minutes late, Eric. What is going on, Brian Chambers? Look at this baby. Grossman says he has rain. We'll try to keep up here. Um, Jeff says, hi, Roy. R.C. Weaven's still outside with my kids. We had a, you guys know how it is. I work on Saturdays. I work a half day. And then uh, we had a baseball game. Yeah, I didn't even have time for coffee, dude. I got this little tiny mini. Actually, I worked it out. So I got something in here. But I didn't get my coffee. I had to make something. Skip built. Keith Christie, Iowa rats in the house. Jeff's custom RC flew the wheels off his Corsair today. That's, I don't know if that's good or bad. (laughs) Nathaniel, dude, we just flew the Futura today. Um, We filmed the assembly of it earlier and I am a mostly a one man show. So it takes a, it takes a while. Uh, Captain Mike, my like best amigo ever though. We, we had a great session today since, since there's a lot, there's a bunch of you here now. 31, it's starting to get nicer. I, I, I'm not surprised to see not so many numbers in here and I really don't care. But um, Dirty D, what is going on? Mary Boozer, Skip Bill, Victor Shameless, Eric Rogers, Brian Chambers, Wayne Lee, 630. Um, Jeff's Custom RC, Reckham Roy, Grossman, Nathaniel, Miller RC, um, Wayne Lee. I'm not sure if I said that. Michael Roshka. Um, Dave's RC will be popping in in a minute. Um, he His stream's going pretty good lately. I, I keep popping in on those. That's fun. Of course, Boozers will do something tomorrow probably. Um, this week, I put out that video on the Arrows Corsair maiden flight in a crazy new location for me. Um, those kind of places are fine if you're used to them, but it, it's not a good place for a guy like me who really doesn't have a lot of time to think I'm going to get good footage out of it but you know what i want to let you guys see whatever you know so today um mike and i and actually be stay in tune this week because I'll, I'll put some videos together of what our day looked like today because it looked like i should turn around and go home when i was heading to the field but i was like mike let's go um, we did this last weekend too, but it did suck last weekend. But this weekend we we stuck with it, and 
Oh man, the storm, it was crazy, but the storm blew over while it was still like getting over. We did the build on the bench. We filmed the assembly of the FMS Ranger 1220. It looks like a Cessna 150. It's got that springy nose gear. Um, Jeff Nichols, what's going on? Um, you guys, if you're here, consider hitting the thumbs up button. That's awesome. Uh, so we assembled the uh, FMS Ranger 1220. And we uh, finally, the weather broke. So we, uh, we flew the P-39. I flew a couple flights on the P-39 and let Mike get his hands on it. And that was fun. So we made a great video, I think, on the P-39, which I'll get edited up. Um, when I say edited up, guys, all I'm doing is putting them together. I'm cutting the baloney, uh, some of the baloney at the beginning and the ends, and mostly correcting for uh, light values. I'm not cutting. There's really nothing to cut. You know what I mean? I'm letting you guys see the flights, but I just try to condense them if there's some BS and um, that kind of stuff. But I, I, I really want to give you the full flight. But anyway, we had a great time on the P-39. Then we got the maiden flight off on the Futura FMS version 2, and it was sick. It was awesome. I couldn't believe it. And I really was holding my judgment out on this one. I wanted to see what it flew like because you guys all who come around here, you kind of know that I feel like the Avanti is kind of, kind of like a winning shape. You know, it's like top dog, but I got to tell you, I'm not just saying it. The Futura and the Avanti S are neck and neck for me. I think the Avanti wins on grass just because the landing gear and, of course, the Avanti has lights. I'm not going to pull the wool over your eyes, but we flew this Futura, which, hey, Victor, doesn't it look a lot like a Havoc? Um, I mean, what's the difference, right? Th those two ventrals on the bottom, what is the difference between this thing and the Havoc? Somebody tell me. Um, I am Pilot21. What is going on? Jeff's customer, see, if you think the Havoc is, is bad, to the bone this future uh, is as well 80 millimeter in runner from fms um wait till you see the videos it was sick dude we had a ball so um we flew the futura we flew the p39 and then we had a blast with that ranger 12 20 millimeter 3s cessna looking thing with that spring landing gear we flew it forever. I landed it crazy in the grass over and over and over. We did a bunch of slow-mos and hand launches. We actually had a lot of fun with that little 3S powered um, uh, Ranger, that 1220. So that plane, it's a 12, again, 1220 millimeters. It, it takes a 3S battery, they call, they start at like a 1300 and then I think probably up to 2200, 1800, 1600. Any of those are amazing. We flew with a 2200 because I like to default that way on maidens and, and the CG felt right to me. I think that springy landing gear on thick grass is going to be glad that you have a light battery, but I flew rates 100% all around, 25% expo uh, for high and then 70% all around, 25% expo for low. And that thing was awesome. And the video will be coming out this week. So will the assembly. Uh, oh, my goodness. Just a great time. Uh, what was I going to say about the P-39, I think? Uh, the assembly for that one's coming too. But, oh, my word. So, so with the, um, by the way, oh, yeah, this is what I was going to say. So on the Corsair that I flew at the school and on the P-39, I want to let you guys know that um, I was a little bit surprised at how well it did with 2200 and 2600s. I don't know why I'm surprised. That's what the battery tray is made for. But I always assume a plane, planes that big need uh, bigger packs. But man, the P-39, I've only flown it with 2200 and 2600s, and it's really awesome. Um, and today I was flying with the battery, you know, squared up on the battery tray, not uh, hanging off of the front, which is how I did the Maidens. And it was great. I mean, it's, it's really, um, 
I, w- I don't want to say pit sensitive because it sounds bad, but it definitely gets around quick. Um, but I don't feel like it's uh, tail heavy at all because it still takes a little bit of down pressure when you're inverted on that thing. So, guys, man, really, if you're if you're on the fence about the P39 or the Futura or that little Ranger 1220, um, if you watch the videos once they come out, I'll push you over. I'll push you off the fence. The struts need a little bit of attention. Uh, the cabanes, basically, on on the 1220 millimeter FMS bird. Um, but a, a guy with a little tiny bit of, I'll show you in the assembly or something. Uh, a guy with a little bit of modeling experience can make that really not an issue at all. So, man, guys, that was it. That was it. Uh, Dave Kowiski, the P39 is freaking awesome. I got my maiden video on my YouTube channel. I saw that you posted that. I haven't had a chance to see it yet. Um, check out Dave Kowiski's maiden flight on the P39. Um, we, uh, Mike really liked that P39 as well. And uh, yeah, it, it's kind of neat because that P39, it looks a little bit Mustang, looks a little bit Spitfire, has a wing like a P40, um, a tail like a stagger wing. And then a tricycle landing gear like, uh, you know, a Trojan. It, it's a neat bird. It really is. It, it ticks a lot of boxes, doesn't it? And split flaps. Man. John Knopp, what's going on? Deuces Wild. Um, did you do 4S on your P39, Kowiski? Ethan RC, what's cracking? Yeah, guys, this stuff is just too much fun. I'm so, so glad to have gotten out to fly today. We had a ball game, and it was it was fantastic. We worked, did a birthday party, did a baseball game. I was loaded up already, went to the field despite the odds. Um, I kind of vlogged some of that storm a little bit, so that'll be fun putting that stuff together. But, uh, yeah, stick around here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the Corsair flight of the Arrows RC Corsair. Uh, I'm going to fly that one again, too, at our field where I can just really ring it out and get comfortable. Um, RC Madness, yo, Ryan, getting new Futura in the Havoc. Are, is that a question? The Futura is right there, and it was killer diller. The Havoc, um, you know what? If they want to see, if they send it to me, I'll do it. There's nothing wrong with hat cams. I mean, you know what? Everybody has to just watch what they watch. Like, if you want to go out and film yourself with a hat cam, film a hat cam. Um, you, you know what? Sometimes it's you're glad you've documented what you've done. If something goes wrong, you can show the company you got it from, and they don't give you a hard time. Did I have to add nose weight on the Corsair? You say yours seems tail heavy with a 3S2200. You know, I hung my battery all the way uh, off as far forward as I could on the Corsair, Dave. And it really felt okay. I did not add any nose weight. I did notice, though, um, on approach, I kind of wish I had some, you know. So I was looking forward to flying a bigger pack, but I have a feeling if I fly a bigger pack, I'm going to be moving it back for sure because I think it'll be too much. Um. Wow. What's what's up with that one, Mr. Ebola? So, or Mrs., I don't know. Um, Raven Rock, what is going on? Phone Boy RC, RC Flyboy, uh, Wreck'em Roy's. Yeah, if you keep it close. Uh, where's Flying Ant in Texas, Jack Miller? Um, you know what you you know what guys that want to do hat cams do hat cams. If guys that don't want to watch hat cam videos don't watch hat cam videos. It's that simple. Um, thank you, Ethan. Uh, hey, have you ever thought about looking and getting the FMS Tiger Cat? Yeah, um, they were gonna uh, send me one, and uh, probably will happen someday. Not not a huge deal. Um, I don't have my mouse. Let's see. Phone boy, yo, can I get a blue wrench? Yeah, I don't have my mouse with me, so I'm slow. Hey, guys, quit commenting for a second. <laughs> okay. Add moderator. You know what I forget to do on days like this? 
Grossman, I just made you a moderator, and that's fine. It was by mistake, but uh, it, it's fine. I'm trying to give it to Ethan. Ethan, say something so I can hit you again, man. It moves so fast. That, uh... So, yeah, I want to try the FMS Tiger Cat. I've tried the, um, obviously, <laughs> the flight line one. I was the first guy, me and, me and John B John Barnes were the first ones to uh, fly those things that uh, besides alpha. Um, goodness sakes. Where you at Ethan? Come on, man. Say something. Raven rock. Uh, Ryan, did you add the two weights with Admiral 5000 to your Corsair? Um, I didn't because I flew with the RC Jetwork 6000. Boom. Um, and then I flew with the Admiral Old School 5000, which is pretty heavy. I don't know if I've flown it with a regular 5000. Here's the deal, though. I default to nose heavy. Um, but I didn't have bigger than a 6,000 or the old school 5,000. Um, I definitely, if I needed to add those weights, I would, but I don't know. Cause I think I've only flown it a couple times, man. Uh, you guys have seen it. Um, you guys have seen it. Lee Davidson's hangar, dude, the P 39 is amazing. Hobby zone, uh, is where I went to get that one. Uh, guys, consider checking out HobbyZone.com. They've got, uh, I think everybody right now that sells FMS has a 15% off on some of that stuff. I don't know if it's still going on, but uh, I think you can pre-order the Futura version 2 right here um, at FMSmodel.com, I think. Um, but as soon as it's available, everybody always asks me when I show you something, like if it's on the Amazon store, and as soon as it's available, I'll put it on there. Um, these are a blessing to still be receiving early models. So the FMS stuff is coming um, early, which is f uh, fantastic. And uh, yeah, Phone Boy RC, that's the FMS version 2 80 millimeter EDF in runner Futura from FMS. It's fantastic. Um, and I don't know what the price point is on it, but it's probably, uh, not as much as the havoc dirty D not to derail any opinion on the new free wing F 35. Uh, it looks fantastic to me. The free wing F 35 is completely revamped from that first one that I, we worked the first one up. Um, and you know what? I The one thing I learned from working the first one is that the shape of an F-35 is going to be really awesome. Just like the shape of an F-22 for like pulling nose high stuff and uh, landing and flaring and fun stuff like that. Um, but I was not impressed with the EPS plane. Now, the new one looks great. Um, it's got a great scale outline. It's a 70 millimeter in runner, which is great and efficient. And, it, and it's good that I hope we see more in runners coming from uh, the free wing stuff. Um, and you know, what's cool too. The F-22 is huge. Um, and it's awesome. But it's like, if you're all about packing more in your car, the F-35 is probably the way to go. I will. If you guys want me to work up an F-35, you let me know and I'll get it done. I got to buy it, though. You, yeah. That's the thing. The pe People who see the value in the community and want to work with Pilot Ryan, Captain Mike, and, and keep the models flowing really take my priority. I'm, I mean, you'd be silly not to. Um, but I do like that. Uh, F-35, and I do like the F-18. Uh, I want to fly this FMS F-18 and see what I think about it. Um, Pusha Studios flying through on a low attitude. 
Low altitude, copy that. What is going on? Good to see you. We just are having a great time over here, hanging out. Just got back uh, from actually flying with Captain Mike um, this evening. We went, I put seven planes in the car and I got three of them uh, finished, which is pretty good odds considering we had storms and crazy wind and rain and then it cleared up and I didn't even get there till five o'clock in the first place. Um, and then home in time to do the show last minute. I was three minutes late. Victor Shamulus just posted the link to his son's P-39 Maiden. Check that out if you haven't. Uh, Derek Shamulus, Victor's son, that's what um, kind of pushed me over on that one. I, I wasn't going to buy that one, and I decided, ah, let's get it. And I went to, uh, like I said, Hobbyzone.com to pick that one up. And and whenever they uh, release some new stuff, I have a feeling it's going to be coming over here as well. Jack Miller, the V2 Futura is the same price as the V1. That's fantastic. I don't know really what the difference is. I think they changed the KV of the uh, inrunner a little bit, but I definitely like the paint scheme better on this one. I can't wait till we uh, I'm able to show you the video from today. Um, I haven't even seen it yet, to be honest with you, because I was busy flying it. And then again, uh, just showed up at the house and, uh, you know, I still got to eat some sometime, I guess. You you look at me and you're like, man, that cat doesn't miss any meals. But man, I really do sometimes. <laughs> Jeff's Custom RC, complimentary to Papa Boozer about the job on the A10. That's super nice. Um, man, what all has happened this week? So let's talk new releases for a minute, right? So a lot of you guys who are into the P39, um, Dave Kowiski, while we're talking about the P39 a little bit, did anybody who had experience with the Pocket Rocket P39 Rock Hobby Racer also pick up this new one, the bigger one? I noticed that I thought definitely they share some character because it's the same shape, but man, this, this 1200 millimeter one flies amazing. And, and in the video, I, I said it a few times where I felt like it really presented uh, like a 1400. And again, with the uh, man, with the uh, AS3X stabilization in it, it's dynamite. Wayne Lee, 630. Where's the Dexter? Watching you on the 78-inch big screen. Boom, 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 boom. Um, Rick and Roy saw that full-scale A-10 at Oshkosh last year. Oh, goodness, man. So what a good time. Uh, if you, Some of you guys, I want to tell you thanks. And, and then others of you who don't do it yet, I want to invite you. Uh, so... Those of you who are new to Instagram and I'm maybe the only reason you're there, I, I really uh, thank you for coming over and following me on Instagram. We have some good times. I release some content on Instagram that's not as official as what I like to put up on the YouTube channel. So you get to see some things sometimes like tonight. I, I, did, a, I did a post um and with IGTV, it's actually really cool that I can go longer than a minute. So some of you guys know what that's about, where you'll still see the first minute of a longer movie in the feed, and you can click keep watching if you want. I think that's fantastic. So if you're if you're not following me on Instagram and you have an Instagram, what are you waiting for? Those of you who opened up an account, of course, it's free. Uh, just so you can follow me, I want to really extend my gratitude to you. I think that's really cool. Um, and and some of you know, like Jeff's Custom RC, it's a fairly immediate way um, to contact me. And Skip, you and I really talk on Twitter direct message a lot, which is which is also fantastic. So uh, there's a lot of different ways to follow what we do over here. And we do we do more than what's on YouTube, so thanks for that. Um, Facebook's popping too. The thing about Facebook is, it, it, for me, I go there and I do it, but it's man, it seems just it seems messy. It's not as uh, slick 
to consume content on it as it is um, on Instagram. But anyway, that's just my opinion. I, I go to all places because I'm all about you guys. So it, I'll don't worry. I'll find you. If you don't do Insta, I'll find you somehow. Uh, welcome home, Mary Boozers. So do you fly some new airplanes out there? Uh, Fred Barron says, the math is not working out. Thumbs up, people. Basically, Dave's RC, what's going on? Hello, gentlemen. I'm heading out with my wife, just making an appearance. Love you all. Good night. Uh, if you guys aren't popping in on Dave's RC's live stream, he's doing it Friday night. Dave, what time are you doing it? I've been there for probably every one um, as much as I can. I think he does them at 8 or 9. I think it's 9 because if it was uh, – if it is eight, then I'm not able to pop in until after I get the kids to bed. But check that out. We're ha we're having a good time over there as well. He says he goes between nine and ten. Dave's RC is doing. Uh, he's got his live streaming uh, potential back, and uh, he he's spent some money right and got some equipment, and he's doing it. It's it's a good time over there. Um, yeah, go eat something for me, son of a gun. So. He's out of here. Um, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Maybe maybe come over when you can stay a while next time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> Peace, as he says. Uh, let's see. What are we talking about? So who's buying balsa planes? Uh, he says, Mary Boozer flew the F-18, the Fairchild, F-35, all awesome. Got video coming. So excited to show it. Also got to fly extreme flights plane. So much fun. Who's extreme flights? <laughs> oh, cool, Pusha. They just tweeted me out uh, about this live stream. We might see some people come in. Who knows? Dennis Farley, hey Ryan, which camera were, were you using? R80 or what? What do you mean, buddy? I'm sorry, I don't understand. R80. Explain, Dennis. Pusha, I just saw that on Twitter. Uh, thank you so much because my, my phone just goes e a little bit. All wood planes, Mary Boozer. Are you guys, how many of you guys are interested in the balsa? The balsa. How many guys are interested in the balsa? Arfs. It's more money than I want to spend. The camera on the videos of the Corsair, the one I did at the school, Dennis, is that what you're talking about? That was a cell phone because I didn't have Captain Mike. And part of it was actually also, so the beginning part of that video was a cell phone. And then the latter half of that video was with a Canon Vixia, which is exactly uh, like what Mary Boozer uses. Honestly, guys, I would love to do some balsa stuff. However, I, I it, it's really all I can do to keep up with the influx of uh, new foamies and and keep bringing you the goods over here. So, boozers are building a balsa B twenty nine for next year's null. What about the OV ten? In your dad been screaming for an OV ten, Wesley? That's true. They are different model numbers. I don't know which it is. I, I can find out, though. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to get because I need to get a camera, too. Um, and Adam does, you know, he helps me out when I ask him. But, you know, when 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 guys get a chance to go fly, they want to fly. So it's, it's hard for me to ask those guys uh, to want to film me. Jeff, you know what I'm talking about. With Mike... He just he just gets it. I mean, he knows when we go, um, we're we're gonna get some stuff done, and I'm gonna give him some stick time, and we're because because he he can fly he flies a lot 
when he's out of town, actually. They have a spot. He works out of town in a place called Marion. And uh, so he will fly uh, a lot. So when uh, we get together, it's kind of time to get some work done. You know what I mean? Wayne Lee 630 says, Papa got an OV-10. All right, cool. Um, too expensive for Bob, he says. He's, you know, it, it's up there. You got to want it, and then, and then you got to outfit it. But you know what? I am glad that people have options. It's You can't make something that's for everybody, and that's all right. You, it, it's nice to have options, um, and, that, and that's cool. It, it's not for me either. Um, it's, it's just, it's just not, again, I would work it if I had it kind of stuff. Reckon Roy's RC says he flies by himself a lot. That's okay. You know, I mean, it stinks that you don't have a camera guy or whatever, but, um, guys, I don't fly by myself at all. Every time I get a fly, I'm telling you, we're, we're filming it. Um, I'm not complaining, but, uh. Yeah, it, time is so hard to come by that I am always filming when uh, we're out. I mean, every now and then I'll squeeze one off that you guys didn't see. For instance, the P-39 maiden flight at that school was really good. Um, I didn't get it filmed, and I hit low voltage cutoff. And because that place was so squirrely for coming in, like, which way you want to uh, uh, it was is not fun for me. Um, yeah, I put I, I drop I doinked it down in the grass on the landing gear, bent the nose gear a little bit, but I bent it right back and had no trouble. Been flying it since then. Uh, Barry Gruder, I was just talking about you earlier because I, I didn't really say your name, but you were who I was thinking of when I. Um, you you follow me on Instagram, and I I have I don't know if you had an Instagram before or if it's just because I kind of tell people that's where they can find me, but I'm glad you're there and thanks for coming by and anybody who wants more of this, um, you know, I put out more stuff on Instagram. That's a little less official. And sometimes it's, it's what's teasing what's coming and all that good stuff. What am I missing y'all? The bigger they are, the nicer they fly and the, and the lesser you can fit in your car as well. And when you crash him, your wife gets madder at you. Skip, was it Skip? I missed the comment because it went so fast. Hey, let's talk about the Havoc a little bit. So it looks to me exactly like the Futura, except it's got these ventrals on it on the bottom, like it, uh, like a Bayhawk does, a BAE Hawk does. So what I want to talk about is the uh, flight time boasting of 10 to 12 minutes. So for a 10 to 12 minute flight on an EDF jet, what did you, what was it? Three minutes. What was it? Three batteries or four batteries? <laughs> How many batteries did you have to use? Fly three minutes, land it, fly another three minutes, land it, change the batteries out. I mean, was it four batteries to get 12 minutes? <laughs> and 140 miles an hour, that's pretty killer. Did anybody see that happen at um, at Nall? Put the chat in slow mode. Man, I don't know. One eight thousand. Man, at low throttle. Not to say it's disingenuous, but what do you, I mean, really, like, if if I wanted to, here's the deal about making videos, if just in case you weren't sure, solar power. Um, you guys don't want to see me fly a jet for 10 minutes, because I'm going to be up in the air flying it like a kite, as slow and as low, or not low, but just as slow, milking it, conserving it. Um, that's okay, but man, you guys want to see what they do, don't you? I, I got to tell you, I was ripping the absolute snot out of the Futura today, and I went four minutes hard. And uh, 
was down at three seven fives, three seven sixes across the board on five thousands, and it was awesome. I flew with forty five hundred as well, and you could fly with a four thousand, but you're getting kind of light at that point because remember the in runners carry a little bit more mass in the ass, so to say, right? Um, but guys, dude, the Futura is gonna if, if you like doing aero braking, kind of wheelies and stuff. Um, I think the future is awesome for that. Uh, I liked, I thought it was a very well balanced plane and I, and I was flying it with the Admiral 5,000 cause I have a bunch and that's what I did for the maiden, the new size 5,000, not the old big brick all the way up to the foam. So all the way forward on the wood tray to me, CG felt really good and the elevator was dead level neutral and, uh, it was awesome. Jeff's customer C. What you want to see the jet next to me? Terry will kick your butt, Dave. Tell her you've earned it, man. Not gonna lie, the F 18 looks and feels faster than the Havoc. <laughs> she just says no to me, Rick and Roy. I'm not saying the Havoc's not a nice plane. I just think 10 to 12 minutes is crazy. Because, man, if you fly like a jet, you're not going to get that long. An 8,000's got to be heavy, too. Um, that is the Futura, Jeff. And it's amazing. And we flew it today. I got the Maiden plus a couple. And Mike, Captain Mike, forgot to hit record on the Maiden until halfway through it, son of a gun. You want this Futura up here in my face? Let's do it then. Who am I not to get? A brick will fly. I think I've proved it. Um, yeah, you want to see it? All right, then. And wait till the video, y'all. I can't wait to show you. I'm really excited to have gotten the Ranger 1220 and this Futura video done. Fred Barron's got a bunch of stuff pre-ordered, guys. A bunch of cool new jets. Almost, let's see, sticking with the Avanti S, no havoc for me. Also have the Futura V2, F35 V2, free wing F18 pre ordered. Um, man, if you've got the, I mean, honestly, look at the Futura. You already got it ordered, right? Pre ordered. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Um, I'll just thank you for FMS um, as, as not quite a representative, but a guy who works their products. Um, so now, how about the having to take a test for FA? I don't know anything about that. It's going to make me mad, though. I didn't know anything about that. Dennis Farley said it all right there. I'm sure. The Futura, Victor. Shamulus has the twenty one hundred uh, KV um, in runner in it. What kind? Of, oh man! You know what? They'll change it. They, they, they don't know whether they're coming or going with us. I swear it's just to keep the AMA in business. What a beaut. It's not a very good look, is it, Jeff? It's custom RC. Now the shot's so ugly.
bear with me, people of the world. There you go. Terry just gave you permission to buy the uh, Futura, Dave. Man, wait till I get it on the. I'm mean, gonna do what you want, but if you wait till I get it on the store, I'd really appreciate it. Um. Pusha Studios, thank you for being here. Um, if you're leaving, goodbye. Um, and thanks for coming so much. Looks good, Ryan. Thanks. The, the jet looks okay too, right, Skip? Um, yeah. We'll find out more about that FAA stuff. Come on. I told you it'd make me mad, especially since I don't know what's up with it. Um, Terry is a nice lady. Yeah, Timothy Tuton. This thing is bad to the bone, dude. I flew it today. I, I really was reserving judgment until I flew it. I don't want to oversell something, especially if I don't know. And um, it's a it's a killer sport jet. I got to tell you, it's in my top two favorite sport jets, man. I, I got to tell you. Let me get this. Uh, I'm going to fix the shot just a little bit more. There's no cheater on the Futura, which is awesome. And sport jets shouldn't really have them um, because they're designed, I, they're not based on a real plane. So they should get it right, you know, when they make it. Caleb, man, I don't know what they should do next. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, my videos are still live, you know, live on the channel over there, but I, I don't work with, I don't work over there anymore. So I don't know. Compared to the Avanti, yo man, I, it, it's it, it, they're both in my top two. I, I really am impressed with how the Futura uh, behaves. The Avanti's got lights, which is really nice. And um, I mean, honestly, if I was uh, giving somebody on that that is stuck flying on grass advice, I might tell them to go with the Avanti. But if you if you got um, whatever you want to fly off of, then just go with preference because they're both really amazing. Tim has the uh, purple version. Nice. Yeah, an F one hundred would be nice. We'll see it one of these days. Ultra micro F fifteen. You never know, man. Futura is 2100 KV in runner, Jeff. It was smoking today, dude. It was awesome. I can't wait to show you. Honestly, I haven't, I, I, I haven't seen the clips yet, but uh, Mike thought it was good. Oh, man, Grossman. Shoo-wee. Jack Miller pre-ordered version two. Fantastic. It's nice, man. It's nice. I really didn't like the looks of the, the version ones, but when I knew this one was coming, I was pumped. I was pumped. You can't tell because it's like blown out, but this is yellow, this piping on the window. Gino Hernandez, what is going on? Yeah, don't do that, G-Man. It does look sick, Jeff. It's awesome. Super fantastic. Expialidocious.
There we go. Papa in the house. What's going on? Jeff's Custom RC. Okay. And I'll tell you in the video. You guys who want to know what I think about these planes, you know how it works. I, I really lay it out in the video. But um, I don't remember what I didn't. I forgot to bring the book with me. So I set up my rates for the um, Futura at 100% all around for high rate, 25% expo. All right. And then on low rate, I went 70% all around for the throw and same expo, 25%. And it was awesome. It was fantastic. Delta Dart, I don't know, man. It, it's it's not coming very good because it, it's it's back. It's in the back of the line. I'm sorry, man. It's uh, <laughs> these guys are sending me stuff that's not out yet. I really got to kind of put these videos to the front of the line. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I will get there. Um, it's on my desktop, so it, it's right there, ready to be done. But there's a lot ahead of it. Um, a lot ahead of it so um so yeah that was the deal with the rates uh 100 all around 25 percent expo 70 percent for low rate 25 you know 25 percent expo all around uh two position flaps um flew it with 5,000 admirals all the way forward and then i flew it with 4,500 admirals in the same position um definitely could actually notice a difference um not not drastically but the um and no flap to elevator mix that i noticed a need for uh the way i flew it and my elevators at dead level neutral so i'm feeling this balance pretty well inverted it didn't take a lot of down pressure and so uh i felt really good the way it settled in and i can't I, again i can't wait for you to see the videos because it's like coming you know it's coming soon i mean we filmed it today i'm so glad we could finally um get it up in the air for you and um you can judge for yourself and the assembly video is coming soon too i filmed that obviously um nobody's uh, i do that for you guys so you can see what it is and make a decision no no one's breathing down my neck to put up uh, assembly videos on these things and sometimes they hold me up um and if I can't get them done, that's why I'm doing them at the field. So we did the assembly video at the of that Ranger today at the field, and then we flew it. Um, so fun, so fun. Um, yeah, hit that thumbs up, dudes. Uh, somebody asked me about if I'm getting balsa. Ask me again because I've lost it. Ask me again. Yeah, Delta Dart's Bearcat was awesome. He's got such a big prop on it. I had to land it in a three-pointer without flaps, but it was still dope. And uh, thanks for letting me fly it because it really does look cool and i'll one of these days i'll get it am i getting any balsa 3d arfs not unless somebody sends them to me um w w if and when i get to purchase something it's usually gonna be man i kind of scale uh you know the military stuff really got me right with the with the jets and warbirds that's usually where my money goes I need to um, up some equipment ante around here as well. And uh, you guys didn't know this, but I've been through, you, you know how hard it is to move, right? Your, your whole family. Um, well, a couple summers ago, I moved. and It is a sticker on the canopy and it's yellow, Jack. A couple summers ago, it was the year we went to Oshkosh. Um, I we moved and completely remodeled the house we moved to that summer 
and I still always made quota and put out five videos a month. Uh, I'm getting ready to do it again. And so I get in, I get in places and I fix them up and then we keep kind of buying up. So, uh, you know, if you have talents, you're supposed to use them. And I'm, I'm pretty handy on a house. And so I, I'm able to give my family uh, more and I'm trying to get out in the country. So um, I'm going to be moving sometime relatively soon. And uh, you guys won't notice much of a difference over here, but um, I will be working more than usual because of it yeah good times i mean i killed myself that summer i remodeled the house and moved <laughs> um yeah i want to get i want to fly at my i want to i want to fly out of my house so yeah deuces wild a warbird nerd he says um 3d planes are fun i hovered the bejeebie by the way the vertical on this thing was sick i couldn't believe you guys will die when you see the videos, I'm telling you, it was, it was sick. Um, the few, I can't wait for you to see it. And by the, and the knife edge was like hands off. Um, the first time I did knife edge on that plane, I did no aileron coupling, you know, inputs at all. Um, there was another time I did in, the, in uh, a big knife edge and I did give it a little, but man, I, very impressed with the Futura, really, and and believe it, guys. The Avanti is my favorite, uh, uh, my one to beat. And this thing's, I think they're neck and neck. I mean, the Avanti has lights and and landing gear a little bit better than gas, uh, for a little bit better for grass. But this thing did amazing, and I really love the stance of the landing gear and the kind of wheelie potential. I mean, Avanti's nice. I mean, get which get get the one you want. You know what I mean? Good times flying today. I'm just so happy when I finally can get out. And, and, I, and I got out with the uh, that Corsair the other day. And um, I wanted to show you how that went. <laughs> it was crazy. Ryan's Flying Ranch. So, you guys all want to know where Ricky the Photon Dexter is. He just got back from flying his timber tonight in the rain, and a cop was watching him at the soccer field. So, that was three minutes ago. Ricky the Photon Dexter just hit me on Instagram Messenger in the stories. Um, yeah, Hugo, it, it'll be – when you say you guys, what do you mean, Hugo? Because I might need to straighten you out. Is Adam in here, man? It's been a while. Adam, what's going on? Yeah, the color scheme is sweet. Yeah, I can't speak for them. I don't know what they're going to do, but this is available at fmsmodel.com. You can get it at Horizon Hobby more than likely eventually. Um, if it's available at Horizon, I'll have it on my Amazon store, which is, is also uh, her, uh, horizon back end, uh, that stuff, that stuff ships from, you know, the stuff that's on my store ships from horizon. It's called influencer marketing. I'm able to have a storefront, uh, where qualifying purchases earn us a little bit of revenue, very small percentage. Um, and it's, and it's, uh, it's cool. Don't know Hugo. I don't know what they do over there. They don't, they don't tell me what they're doing. Hugo. And they didn't ask my permission before. Um, <laughs> Fred Barron, you're the best. Got to go see and take the grandkids to dinner. So chew on this. I will chew on it. Thank you so much. Uh, those contributions help tremendously um, to keep us flowing and inspired over here. Jack Miller says it's on Horizon site for pre-order. That's cool. So once it's probably in stock, it, it'll be available on the Amazon store. Do what you want. If you want it now, get it. Um, 
or you can wait and I'll have it on the shop. Also, hobbyzone.com has been really good to me. Um, been great to work with. They don't pay me that, you know, they don't give me, they, they do send the arrows RC stuff here for us to work it up. But anything else that's e flight or FMS that I get from them, I'm buying it just like you guys. Um, and, and there's some, some place I would like you to consider as well supporting and in support motion. I mean, there, there's enough of it to go around. I mean, sometimes you, you can only get what you want from there. So it's fine. But I am independent. I do not work for any one in particular anymore. That didn't really work out for me, to be honest. Good experience. I, I choose winning every time. So that's what's up. Some will crawl under a rock. Others will keep showing up and win. Um, anyway, so let's see. Yeah, Gino, that's cool. We'll come over here and watch them because we make videos all the time. We work our butts off over here at the Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike RC YouTube channel. Uh, we have, uh, I think a killer Instagram, uh, Facebook community. I mean, just, we got the best guys in the world over here, uh, hanging out in the chat every week. We've done this almost a year at this point, and it's just really cool. We've been up for about an hour today. Has anybody got any questions? Um, also, I know there's a few of you that might want that one-on-one -on -one consult. Um, if that's not – if I'm if I'm off base on that, then uh, forget I said it, but we can we can still work that out. The Craft King number one just found my Instagram today. Yeah, um, I think the link is also in the channel art of this YouTube channel. So you can get to Facebook, Amazon, Instagram, Twitter. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can get to that stuff from there as well. Got to check out the V2 FMS A10 when it comes out. Yeah, Tim, they told me they're sending one. So you guys will hear it here first. It's been about a year, man. I mean, this is show 41 or 42, so do the math. That's 10 months, uh, 10, 10 and some change months. So it'll be uh, basically into the summer, uh, I think, will be a uh, year. David Christie ordered the Black Horse Models Heinkel. Uh, I'm sure someone's going to correct me because I said it wrong or something for motion today. Um, cool, man. That's a nice looking plane. And, and you know what? It's not really available any other way, is it? So it'll be really neat to see those, those planes. Are you going electric with it? Uh, Grossman was talking to OV10, Charlie Brown, a couple of days ago, heading off to get the replacement trailer. So won't be at Nephi. The good news is it's an upgrade over the old one. So he's pleased. What about the OV-10? What's he think about that? Um, Chris Gillespie, the new Freewing F-35 does look awesome. And I'm so really glad there is one. Um, the first one was not. Um, it was cool for its time, but, it, but it's not up to snuff now. You know what I mean? Hello, Siddharth. Shivalker, good to see you here. Hugo, I mean, you were for five years, I was, um, but no longer. No longer. That's that's why we have our own thing going on over here. Um, you know what, Tom Heat Dirks, they do have a spark preventer kind of adapter or some kind of device. Um, so the question is, can the sparking I get from EC5 connector and 6S jets kill ESC after a period of time? How to prevent spark when plugging in? Um, you know, someone might have an answer for that. I don't think it's going to hurt your ESC. I think if anything, you'll just kind of maybe eventually char and corrode your connectors. 
but I um, haven't had any trouble with any of that. And there is, again, some kind of device that has a spark arrester uh, capability. Siddharth uh, wants this, uh, how what flies? What are you talking about? The Viking, yeah. It's going so fast, guys. Eleven months. Wayne Lee, six thirty. Original gangster hanger rat in the house. Um, Ethan, you out of here? See you later, man. Fly safe tomorrow. Um. The F 35's got that big monster NACA duct for uh intake on the bottom. It I I wonder why it's not louvered, but otherwise I think that thing looks great. Ricky says it's been a day, man. It certainly has. Um, Rennie Steven or Stefan. So is this new paint scheme easier to see in the sky compared to the purple and red one? Um, it's hard to say because I haven't flown the others, but I really did enjoy watching it fly today. Hey, Ryan, what's up? And I'm not asking for Mike tonight. <laughs> I told Mike uh, today while we were filming uh, that guys were – I was like, you got to come one of these times, man, because guys won't quit asking for you, and I'm starting to get mad at them. <laughs> Nemo, it's cool, man. Uh, I love that guy, Mike. He's my man. Thanks for liking my um, IGTV video, people. And my wife is being funny. What's that about? I got to see what's up. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, so my wife tagged me in a a post and I'll read it to you guys. Uh, my therapist says is the account on Instagram. It's actually pretty funny. A lot, a lot of memes. Um, am I constantly tired? Yes. But am I staying awake when I should be sleeping? Also? Yes. She tagged me and laughed out loud. Yes, that is me. That is me. But if I sit still, I'll fall asleep. I have my glasses on because my eyes are failing. Ricky, me and you have to hash out some Wikipedia copyright issues, don't we? That's what she said. Everyone is so helpful. Which planes did you fly tonight and which ones did not get up? Great question, Mr. T1035. Seven planes went into the car. I packed up Futura version two, E Flight F16 from uh, Mike Kennedy, FMS F18. Aeros RC Corsair, E-Flight P-39, Free Wing F-22, and the Ranger FMS-1220, like Cessna um, trainer, awesome thing. So what we flew was the P-39, the Futura version 2, and the FMS tracker. So uh, I still need to fly the uh, E-Flight F-16, for you guys and then get it shipped back off to Mike Kennedy. I need to fly the FMS F18. I want to fly the Aeros RC Corsair again at my field. Um, what, what, what I meant, uh, the free wing F22 I brought because a guy is waiting for me to show him where I put my gyro and I was going to go ahead and fly it with the FMS fan in there. Cause I hadn't done that. So, so yeah, the free wing F22 did not fly Aeros RC Corsair did not fly. FMS F-18 didn't fly. Uh, E-Flight F-16 did not fly. But three did. That makes seven. Nemo, uh, Ryan, you doing any meet and greet anytime soon? Um, you know, anybody wants to come down to Jet Jam in Indiana, I'll be there. Um I will also be in Muncie the weekend after that. Um, guys who want to 
dive deep on on a, a channel audit kind of with me on YouTube. Uh, I've made available, I've put it out there that I'll do a one-on-one consult with them if they want to. Um, but it's, I mean, it's going to cost a little bit. Um, I would love to do a meet and greet, but yeah, if you can make it to Jet Jam, feel free. Uh, the, the whole thing about this show is trying to do that actually as well. Um, Jeff's customer C flew the Avios Albatross today. Great flyer. Mrs. Boozer RC, shameless self-promotion with all the hearts there. I'm just teasing. <laughs> Adam Hampton. Um, the P39 is not, it didn't seem super fast to me. Um, I think probably guys are flying it on 4S already, which would make it really haul. I do love how it flies, though. I really actually do. Oh, thanks, Tom. Um, it, it really, it really is a, a unique flying plane. And, and I've said it a lot lately that it's nice to have a warbler that's a tricycle gear. That's not a Trojan sometimes. So, uh, I really enjoyed it. Ricky, I hope you feel better, man. Dirty D you going to jet jam this time. I, I, man. I want to see that F-35 and the F-18 there at, at uh, Jet Jam. They, those, they, they make some great planes over there, man. I had, a, I had a great five years over there. It was cool. So we're here now. So let's see. Dave Kowischke is going to be at – we're going to be busy trying to fly, film, document, do a show. Uh, that kind of stuff. Adam Hampton asked, when is Jet Jam? Um, somebody answer him already in the comments, please. Uh, Mary Boozer, thanks, Ryan, for all you do, man. Sorry we missed last week's episode. Keep it up, my man. Thank you so much. Um, somebody thought me and you did an interview or something at uh, Joe Nall, and I was like, ah, it wasn't me. Uh, Tom says, thanks, Barry, Ryan. I get a lot from these chats. Want to give back and can't wait for Jet Jam. Oh, cool. Are you going? You guys have to introduce yourselves if, if uh, I mean, elbow people out of the way if, if you got to. <laughs> Ricky, you're hilarious and I love you. I am Pilot21. You have Flightline P38. Love mine. Yes, I do have Flightline P38. I've had a couple of them. And the silver video that's up at Motion is my creation. Uh, check that out. And I have a green one. And I've done I've done a couple of them custom. Victor Shamula says, Ricky is funny. Victor, looks don't count, man. I'm just kidding. Uh, Mary Boozer inter says, interviews with lots of people, but not Ryan. Unfortunately, maybe next year he can tag along with the Boozer. Yes, sir. Hope to meet you. Maybe you can make an Avanti number two for me. It's ready to go. Tricked it out some. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Papa Boozer, first Joe Nall, the Disneyland of RC. All rats need to go just once. Timothy Tutant, definitely a great time at Jet Jam and great facility. Absolutely true. Can't wait. Um, oh, thank you. I am Pilot Twenty One. Um, it was a good. It was, it was a fun video to make. Um, it is awesome putting faces to names. Very cool, Mister T Ten Thirty Five. Most cops are jelly of us. Um, Wayne Lee Six Thirty. <laughs> That's funny. But ugly helps. Captain Victor is very cool compared to Ryan of the Prairie. <laughs> you are reason I bought mine. I am Pilot 21. Thank you for that. Uh, actually, that means a lot to me, you guys. That's kind of the, that's kind of, man, it's, I don't know. I'm not, I love showing these things to you. I, I remember when I was learning how to fly, telling my father, I want to get to fly everything. Um, and, and, and you learn what you like that way and you learn how to do it and you learn how to fly. And then all, and then, and then what happens is you become, 
a, a resource, and I hope that's what we are for you guys. I am having fun. Whatever you want to call it, I'm having a blast uh, and look forward to engaging. I use a lot of buzzwords and social media, but, but basically – uh, hanging out with you guys is just the the best thing about it, you know. <laughs> you yeah, RC weaving, yeah, fly everything. <laughs> you know, Ricky, it's funny. I am too, actually, but I I just am also cr crazy enough to just keep moving. Um, Grossman says, here's my buying pattern. See it, see Ryan fly it, fall in love with it, buy it. 99% of my hanger was bought that way. Um, well, I said something to Dave Hawker at one of the shows in Texas one time. I was like, or no, it was actually probably a jet jam. Um, <laughs> it's how oh, I can't remember what it is, but it's like, uh, <laughs> If you see Pilot Ryan flying, pretty soon you're going to be buying or something like that. I don't know. Um, what did you call him, Mr. T? That's not nice. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Um, Jeff's Custom RC is saying uh, high five across the room to your friends uh, in agreement. I want a jet, just not sure which one. Says I'm a pilot. Um same here. That's so true. Yeah, man, it's that's my job um, in a way. I envy you in a good way, Ryan, no doubt. Can you do something good about Stalker, R.C. Weaving, LOL? <laughs> yeah, R.C. Weaving, quit stalking Ricky the Photon. Nah, R.C. Weaving's a good dude, man, good people. I talk to him a lot. Oh my goodness. Hashtag Ryan is flight in going to be buying. That's quite a hashtag. Probably not an easy search result deal for people. Grossman, FMS on the Futura. So it does not come with AS3X. Um, of course, you could work that out if you wanted to. I don't use gyros on sport jets because they're so just dialed in. Every now and then I'll put them in a scale jet because I know I want to fly it slow, which might be opposite of what some people do. Some people maybe just go for the gyro regardless. I got to tell you, though, today I felt good having a few planes that had AS3X because it looked like it was going to be another piece of crap weather day. Um, but it it ended up being nice. The storms blew. It was crazy. Like storms blew over and then it just, oh man, it was like a choir of angels. I couldn't believe it. And I was flying still at 815 at a field 20 minutes away and had to pack up still and get here and, and drop it like it's hot <laughs> at nine o'clock. So no time to chill. Got a date. Can't be late. Hey, RC Pilots Lounge number 41. There's a four. There's one. I put a zero in front of us sometimes. There you go. Brian Chambers says, look at the radar now. We're in it for tomorrow in Indiana. Bring it on. I, I mulched two flower beds in the rain this week so I could get away today and get something done. I can't wait to see the footage uh, and put some videos out. I've got some... <laughs> Jeff's customer, see his wife asks him, are you ever going to stop buying planes? Uh, me? No, he says. Um, oh, what I miss. I need my mouse because I'm, I'm missing comments. Dave Kowiski, thanks for that. Um, guys, if you don't follow on Facebook, uh, consider doing it on Instagram as well. Um, pretty soon, actually. Uh, I will be posting that there is some kind of for sale uh, at Teespring. So I can't remember what it is um, or when it starts, but it's like Memorial Day week or something like that. You might be able to 
save a little bit on um, your purchases at Teespring if you're buying merch. Mary Boosters, I've been wearing your merch like a lot lately in builds and flight videos. Um, let me know when you send the check. Okay. <laughs> Just teasing. Um, Dave Kowiski, thanks so much, man, uh, for dropping the links to my stuff. Um, Jeff's custom RC. Face uh, RC with attitude. Everybody support your friends. Um, let them know when you show up. <laughs> Ricky says, Kowiski is better looking than I thought. I wanted more film of him than the P39. Um, she ever going to stop buying shoes? <laughs> Funny. Um, Wings 88, Ron Upton. What's your excuse this time? Late as usual, I presume. Um, what's new? Man, you have to catch it on the replay. We just solved the world's fuel crisis with the FMS version 2 Futura 2100 KV in runner. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Boozer. <laughs> I still haven't tried out my airbrush. I'm just the worst, man. I just got uh, just a uh, lot, lot going on. A lot of guys here with no subs. Barry G says. Um, Eric Quinn RC says arrows Trojan on list after F7F. Very nice. Um, Dave Kowiski makes bow ties look cool. Absolutely. Raymond Molina in the house. What is happening? Aces high. What's up, Brosif? Um, good to see you, man. Oh my goodness, Dave Kowiski is gonna send Ricky the Photon some special pictures. He says this is going south. Try powdered paint and flat top coat. Nice. Thanks, Ryan, for all the great videos and help. Sorry to run early morning. All right, Adam, take care of yourself. Thank you so much, man, for coming around. <laughs> Timothy McJury, welcome here. I've not seen your name, but he says something hilarious. You're the only pilot I'd rather watch fly my RC plane than me. That's fun. That's neat. You know what I hope you guys uh, see? in the videos is uh, when I think there's a couple different ways to fly these planes. I think there's some guys who show off how good they are. And then I feel like I want to show you what the pl plane can do. I'm not showing off. I just feel like it's my job to show you it doing some stuff. And I got a limited repertoire of a few paces I can run it through. And I have a good time doing it. And, and I think that's really where it's at. So, some of these guys take, I mean, it is flying airplanes, but but honestly, man, we're flying robots shaped like our favorite airplanes, and it's fun, and they kind of are toys, even though people get it twisted when you say that. It, it should be fun. And so some guys take it so bloody seriously, um, I'm not sure. I, I think they might be forgetting that part. I, I like to share what I'm doing. It sounds like you guys like to hear what I'm doing. And I like to say what I, I like to let you guys know what kind of language I pick up from the plane when it's doing its flight. So you can be prepared when or if you are flying the thing yourself, because mostly what I want is your success. I don't care which one you buy. Um, I'm going to give you the best answer uh, considering your circumstances that, that I could give you. Uh, that's why I'll tell you the Avanti, if you're flying off grass, is probably going to win over the Futura, and it's got lights. But as far as flight character goes, they're neck and neck for me. Um, and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to say that until I flew it, but I really had a good time with it today. Um, anyway, um, trying to keep it real. 
and honest and hopefully we all share our experiences and can learn from each other. And when we're successful, the hobby does better. Uh, we do better. We get to buy more planes because we're not fixing the ones we have. It's just good. Thanks, Timothy. Uh, he likes that you tell us what you're doing with your rates, your battery placement, and what's happening when you're flying. Th this has become standard protocol at this point, and it should be. Because anybody that we're watching videos from is their own voice and authority on the subject their own brand of how they skin a cat. And uh, me and Wesley have talked about this. I was like, Wesley, look, man, guys are looking at you. Tell us what you're doing. Guys want to know. Um, that's the value proposition. Um, we, we like making videos. We like flying planes. We like commenting and engaging with you guys. And uh, we want you to keep coming back. So we're going to give you the best information we can without making it sound like it's absolute. I'm not the absolute authority. This is just the way I do it. And this is what works for me. Take it or leave it. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Um, Raymond Molina asks if there's any gluing on that plane with a Futura. No, there is not. However, I do like to dot a little tiny bit of glue on the circlips and those four little black screws on the inside of the retract flange. There's four little screws that bolt the retract plate to the retract mechanism just inside of the four that bolt it to the wing pocket socket rocket robots. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I love you guys. So, look at I don't want to go forever, but I kind of can. But I really should eat something. Um, keeping it real. Let's see, where am I at? Any last-minute questions? Anybody who's going to take up the P-39 this week? Got any questions? Um, the Futura. Timothy says... Uh, Ricky, I'm glad you're smiling tonight, man. I'm smiling too. Timothy, also, I can tell you're as excited as I am when you finally made and so I thought I'd stop by and say thanks for getting me back into the hobby, man. You're very, very welcome. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully, you're a subscriber on this channel here. And uh, you should always tap the bell as well, guys, if you're a new subscriber or an old one. Because uh, if you want to see the new content and not miss one, that's the way to go. Because YouTube does not always show you every new video. If you go back and look through the channel, you're going to see stuff you missed uh, more than likely. Um, Carlos Rodriguez, saving money for the F-35. Very cool. Thanks, guys, for tuning in tonight. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you, Jeff's Customer C, for that one. Um, Aces High RC, dude, did anyone pre order the new F 35? So stoked! I bet, I bet a lot of people pre order the F 35. Um, for a multitude of reasons, man. I mean, it's also the price point, it's a little easier to swallow. Gino Hernandez, gonna try to make it to Jet Jam, would be a pleasure to meet you, man. Would be a pleasure to meet you as well. Um, it's there's gonna be a bunch of great guys there, and there's always a lot of awesome jets. Um, Papa Boozer says, show me your underalls. I was like, you, well, will I never. Um, I will. I will. Not much flying for me again this week, says Mitchell. Going to Mexico tomorrow for a work trip. Yeah, right. You're trying to run drugs across the border. Chris Gillespie would like to see how flapperons work on the F-35. I can do that for you. Just send $300 to, and I'll show you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ricky says, be careful in Mexico. He's got one of his exes running around down there. All right. You want to see my shirt? 
I wear this baby all the time. Boom. Boom. Can you see that? Can you see it? I bought both Flying Tiger shirts from uh, Mary Boozer's store. And uh, I really like them. I'm a long sleeve kind of guy. Where it's 85 degrees at the baseball game, I got long sleeve shirts on. Yeah, dude, I, did, I don't know why, man. I just have a thing for the Flying Tigers. I mean, I've got all this history with aviation and really no uh, real reason to, to have an affinity for the Flying Tigers, but I kind of like the I, I like the, 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 the whole thing about uh, it was an unofficial band of pilots uh, from all over the place that came together almost in a mercenary type of fashion. Uh, which is just kind of just kick ass, you know. I've read some books on it, and and I remember seeing P40s when I was a kid at Oshkosh, and they they were always neat to me. And and it's something as simple as those shark's teeth when you're a little kid on an airplane just brings it to life. It's it very impactful, um, and that's another kind of thing I like about that P39. Uh, the paint scheme, first of all, is very much like the FMS P40, but the wing is a dead ringer. I mean, the shape of it. So, so I mean, it's like having a P40 hybrid Mustang Spitfire tricycle gear, badass warbird. It's cool. Ugh. Mary Boozer, how dare you? Thanks, uh, guys. Yeah, great shirt, man. Yeah, Mitchell Farley. It's hard, hard not to... I mean, the iconic shark tooth grin. Um, I, I did a P40 years ago, uh, the GWS P40 for um, Bill Shepard. What's going on um, for magazine? And uh, is, a, is a fun article to write. Bill Shepard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You asked me something the other day. And you know what? I, I went. I think it was in a YouTube comment section. You asked me something and I, I think I answered you there, but I also tried to hit you on Facebook, but it might've been a different Bill Shepard. I don't know if you have messenger or if you use Facebook or not, but I have a question about P40. I had two of them back in the day, but no phone model ever flew well for me. What's the best new one? The FMS P40 B model is, I think the best, foamy p40 that has ever been right now oh dave kawishki you're gonna love it dude check out we we still have a couple videos floating around on the motion channel for the, the fms p40b and then i got we did one on this channel as well some mosquito day um i love it now take again you, you can't really see the sir clips but you might still thanks mitchell you might still want to put some foam tack on the circ clips, even though they're under those like hubcaps. Also, um, sometimes a little plastic collars and stuff. T take a look at your screws. Um, one thing I love that plane, but I did because I definitely like. Okay, I I knew you had Dave, but um, the screws that hold the the slot in the strut up and down from rotating the whole wheel, one side of the aircraft, it feels like the tension on that screw because of the axle and the wheel configuration will ratchet it tight. And the other one will ratchet it loose. So keep an eye on those screws. Um, those big ones in the front that, that hold that strut in the slot. Um, and I, I foam tack mine. Thank you, Ricky, the photon Dexter. You can get this shirt at Mary Boozer's our, uh, Teespring store. And if there's anything else you want to see on my store, let me know. I might get rid of some of them or kind of tweak them. I don't know what I want to do, but, uh, you, you really don't sell many unless you have keep, keep cranking out new designs. 
but it, it's it's been it's still been definitely worthwhile. Cassie Boozer. Yeah, man. Dave should be okay. What are we talking about? See you, Gina. See you later, Gino. If you're out, see ya. See you next week. Thanks for the subscription. Heart. Hey, Ryan. Flew the free wing F-86 with a 2100 KV FMS fan. Hauled butt. I bet it did, man. Jeff's Custom RC says, I want to get the F4U Corsair shirt, Ryan. Yeah, man. Get it. I think I got long sleeve and short sleeve, multiple colors. Um, uh, it's always nice when people do that stuff. Guys, this show has been one of the best things I could have done for the business of uh, Pilot Ryan. I mean, it's it's just great. It's cool. I really I look forward to it all the time. That F eighteen shirt is calling me to go with my new plane. Uh, you get a new F eighteen, man. Ha, <laughs> Lokes. What's Lokes, man? Shades. Victor ordered a boozer shirt. Yeah, man. I have to honestly, I'm a little I, I have the perfect color for my boozer shirts because man, look, I'm a coach. Like the, the kids' parents don't know that Mary Boozer means uh is the name of a B24. And most of the time people just look at you funny and they're not gonna ask you what it is. So it, it you still see it, but it's not like super prominent. So I have the best color ever. Um, Dennis Farley uh, shouts out Dave's RC. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, yeah, guys, man, we're having a ball, aren't we, all you guys? Uh, I know we did a little scratch the surface on YouTube the other day, and I can tell, actually, a lot of you seem to have learned something and have, uh, I think, maybe changed the way you title your stuff. Now, I don't want to bore everybody. Uh, who's not interested in that stuff with a big chat on YouTube strategy right now or how to, you know, get the most out of your efforts. But again, reach out to me. Anybody who wants to go personal deep dive channel audit, cause I'll do it. Something a little different in the coffee tonight, guys. Captain Ricky. Captain Ricky can't say Captain Ricky without a lawsuit. I'm suing. Dave's RC. He's at $499. He'll be at $500 tonight. Somebody hit him if you haven't. Timothy McJury. No, it's not. Mary Boozer is my mom's name, Mick nickname after a wine tasting. <laughs> um Mary Boozer's having success on his channel. Congratulations. Um, Grossman's got about three years till retirement. Dave's RC is super close. Uh, put him over the edge, man. Get him to 500 people. That'd be fantastic. Um, we're clipping along. We'll be at 5,000 here in a little while. Um, ironically, built another channel to... 27,000 before I left, but whatever. Um, Jeff's Custom RC, check that out. Stay with him. He's growing as well. Um, Ron Upton says he's got four subs and he's crushing it. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Um, I'm having a good time on... on uh, I'm glad that Dave's got his his live back i didn't ever i didn't know it before but um yeah that's the thing man how many of us have met each other because of this stream hanging out in the rc pilots lounge because that's totally what it is man y'all hang out goof with each other do what you got to do plug your 
stuff. You know, I don't unless I've got a, a real agenda for the night. I don't care. Um, if you guys are leaving and some of you are, um, hit hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. Um, what what am I missing a question here? Mary Boozer Ryan, you will be there in again soon. What well, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Oh. I got you. Thank. I think. Thanks. Um, boom. What battery charger do I use? I use one I won at a show, actually, Jet Jam, when it was in Muncie. So my thumbs down already? That's hilarious. Thank you. Probably because they hit it twice. <laughs> um, whatever. The Craft King put Dave's RC over 500. That's awesome. I don't even know the name of my charger, actually. I think it's an ICB. Is that a thing? Yeah, Jeff. That's cool. Mrs. Boozer says they're slacking over at the Boozer camp. And they'll catch up soon. Uh, man, I don't know what it is. Yeah, hit the thumbs down and get out of here. Whatever. Um, Jordan Dole got the Venom Duo charger off the Amazon store. Thank you so much. It's awesome charging multiple batteries at once. Man, I need to get some of that. Uh, Mitchell Farley. Uh, hey, Boozers. I got my sticker this week. Thanks so much. Barry G's RC. Wings 88 already subbed. The Craft King number one. Hit it twice to make sure. <laughs> um, glad you like it. Cool. All right. Ten minutes. What, what do we got? What do we got, guys? What do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Timothy McJury, thank you, man. I'll be expecting a future in the mail. Cool, man. Do you order one? Do you order one already, man? That's dope. Wait, and you didn't even see the video yet. Mary Boozer has three Venom chargers. Love charging six batteries at a time. Uh, I'm a Pilot 21. Why do 6S batteries scare me? Probably because what they cost. They, otherwise, they shouldn't. Um, Bill Shepard says progressive RC balance boards are awesome. Um, Papa Boozer, thank you for that. Thanks, guys, for hitting the like button. Yes. Papa Dot said, hit the like button. Eric G, I made the Futura today, and it was amazing. The videos are coming out soon. Uh, thank you, Ryan, for everything you do for us. Going to roll out. Be looking for more videos tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for everything. Check out Jeff's Custom RC, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Excuse me. Barry G's RC says best six channel receiver with gyro. I'll let everybody else answer that one. Um. Oh wow, I says hi. I hear you. Um. I mean, I I really the AS3X stuff comes ready to rock. I don't have to mess with it. It's great. Um, I like the Hobby Eagle stuff. I've used a lot of it, but it's it's not a receiver gyro. Um, so a lot of guys like Admiral gyros. Um, that's cool. I don't I don't use them, but uh, not that I won't or wouldn't though. I probably I have a couple 
that I'll probably put in something. But I prefer, I kind of like the Hobby Eagle situation, even though you do use up a channel on it. I like the Hobby Eagle ones. I've never had any trouble with them. And uh, the AS3X stuff, I've never had any trouble with it. Ha. Mary Boozer says Papa Dots was pimping out everybody's planes at Joe Nall. It was fun just watching them meet everybody, I bet. The Craft King says gyros are for are for falafel sandwich. LOL. Um, Timothy McJury, see you next time, man. We do this every Saturday, nine o'clock Eastern time. So, how did you, uh, Timothy, before you leave? Curious as to how you knew this was going on tonight. If you haven't been in here before, or maybe you've been in here but you haven't commented, um, how did you find me? How did you find us? That's what I want to know, real quick, before you go. RC Wow's dude, uh, that is correct, but there's more to it than that. Uh, they were also developed and designed and tweaked specifically to function in the way that they wanted them to. So there, there are some features and things that are a little bit different between uh, the Lemons and Admirals, although they are made um by them. Does it make sense? Yep. Firmware changes for improvements and, and to, to be a little bit like safe, I think. Um, yeah, Mr. T1035. They're, they're great. Cool. Timothy, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah, and 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 tap the bell if you want to know when new stuff posts. You don't have to watch it right away, but at least you'll know there's new stuff because we really do try to – I mean, the live stream is fantastic, especially when you get a couple weeks that just suck. But, um, I mean, it, it's about flying videos for me. I mean, that's the funnest videos for me to make or flying videos. That's a point. But the rest of this is just uh, kind of – a part of it as well. I mean, it's like I'm going to do assembly videos so you guys get to see what these things look like. Um, Mary Boozer's out of here. Um, check out Mary Boozer's RC 8 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow for the live stream Sunday night, as is always the case at the Mary Boozer's RC YouTube channel. Uh, see you later. Ricky says he's coming over for stovetop. Uh, stovetop stuffing, that is. An hour 42, my goodness. Um, Bill Shepard, yeah, man, the Futura flew amazing today. It does look nice. Um, and I... I I was glad that it flew as nice as it looks. Everybody says goodbye to the boozer. See you later. Um, let's see. Later, Grossman. Yeah, for real. Yeah, Ace is high. Not a bad idea. Um, yeah, Mary Boozer, check it out. To, check them out tomorrow. You're welcome. Uh, Dirty D, get out of here, man. Go plug in your phone. See you later. Ryan is watching my Facebook Live cooking shows, I see. <laughs> um, I didn't see it, but I probably liked it just because it's you. Bye, Grossman, says Barry G's. Good idea, Aces. I need to do that. Good night, Grossman, says Dennis Farley. Um, yeah, be watching, guys. We had a good time with the P39, the the. I think you guys are going to get a kick out of the fun we had with that FMS trainer, that Ranger. I keep wanting to call it the Geo Tracker for whatever reason. I have no idea why. Um, crazy. All right, guys. Ryan is – yeah, let's see. Thanks for the shout-out. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thumbs it up on your way out unless you're that guy. And if you're that guy, thumbs it down because that feeds the algorithm as well. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, Dennis, we're going to roll. 
My wife said if I don't eat the macaroni, put it in the fridge. Uh, there's some like crazy good macaroni upstairs in the pot or something. I'm going to hit that. Um, and I got to watch the videos we did. I'm telling you, I might smash one up and get it out for tomorrow. You guys show it some love, share it, and all that good stuff. Uh, if, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you have an Instagram, check out. Just search The Pilot Ryan. Uh, you'll see me, and that's the one. Uh, follow that. Hit the notifications. Turn on notifications for post notifications on Instagram so you can see whenever I post there, if you'd like to receive that notification. Instagram is cool. There's stuff I put up on Instagram that I don't put up on YouTube. It's, it's, it's not as official. I put up an Instagram TV, which is also on my regular Instagram feed. Um, that was just me pumped up after tonight's session with Mike on my way home to do this show. Um, so, I mean, you know, th there's things, there's more if you want more. That you can get. So as I always say, see you on social during the week. Uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, everybody's already saying goodbye. So we'll see you later. Uh, 50 folks in here. You know what, guys? I, I just want to let you know that um, this channel right here is full of solid cats who support super well their amigos. I want to appreciate you out loud right here in front. Uh, let you know how much I appreciate it. And, and I want you to know, too, how how big of a deal it is, right, that weekly we have th this many people showing up for this. Um, there are big YouTubers out there with big numbers who do lives, who do not do as good as this one. So uh, thank you for that. I think it's really cool. Um, see you later. Great show. Gave away. Wow. Bill Shepard gave away 400 t-shirts today at a uh, Georgia music festival. Wow. All right, guys, be looking out for uh, new videos this week. I got a lot of stuff in the queue. I'll get to the assemblies. Uh, eventually uh, the flight videos. I'm super jacked to show you though. However, and there is more to come always. I cannot clear my plate, which is a good problem to have. Thank you so much. I want you guys to let me know on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter the kind of projects you want to see me do next on this channel um, because we want to really show you what you want uh, to see because we want to give you guys uh, the best tools to have your own success in the hobby so you can have the most fun in the hobby. Um, same kind of thing I tell my kids with the baseball. I was like, you know what? If you were having fun, you would have caught it. Get out there, have some fun, try hard, and do it. I don't know what to say. I love you guys. I'm overwhelmed. We're, we're pushing to a year pretty soon here. Um, so thanks a lot for that. Um, we're going to roll. We're out of here in five. Hangar rats forever. Three you next time. You're too good to be forgotten. See you next time. Stick them, monkey pants. See you on social. Find me all week. See ya. Anybody wants a YouTube audit session, hit me up. Let's do this. Later. Boom.